This is the 23rd Leak Code Challenge, and it is called Merge K Sorted Lists. You're given an array of K linked lists. Each linked list is sorted in ascending order. Merge all the linked lists into one sorted linked list and return it. So if you have three linked lists, 145, 134, 26, you merge them in ascending order. So 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 4, 5, 6. If you have, if you're given nothing, or an empty array, you return nothing. If you're given an array with one linked list but that is null, then you also return nothing. So k list length. The length can be anywhere from 0 to 10,000. I think that's what that is. Uh, so that's the length of the array. Then the length of the linked list is anywhere from 0 to 500. And the value in the linked list is anywhere from negative 10,000 to positive 10,000. And the sum of lists i dot length will not exceed 10,000. Okay, well let's get started. So I've initialized the project to be similar to uh, the 21st challenge, which was merge two sorted lists. So I've got that code here commented out, and we're going to work on it. The problem with this one versus the merge two one is we don't know the exact amount of lists that there will be. So that's a consideration we need to make straight away. So first things first, if list.length equals zero, then return null. We then also, um, it's possible that some of the lists are gonna be invalid. So let's say there's 10 list nodes in here. Could be that five of them are null, well five aren't. And we don't want to be iterating through all 10 of them, just the five that are valid. So we will create uh, do var node list equals list of list nodes. We will do for each, yep, var list and list. If list, so that this is list, this is gonna be the list node. List dot value, I guess. If list equals null, actually what does it say for the maximum? Okay, I think this might be all we have to do to check to see if it's valid. Then we just continue. Otherwise, node list dot add list. Then we do if node list dot count equals zero, return null. So I think that's all the checks we need to do to begin with. So if this list is empty, then it's nothing. If we go through everything and everything is null, so none of them are added to the node list, and they count zero, we turn null. Okay. So there's some code that we have from the previous one which can be reused, such as these ones. So we'll rename them so it's head, and yeah, we'll just keep it sorted. So we'll go to the bottom here and we will return the head. So let's remove that part and return head. And what we will do is we're going to iterate over the, oh, let's just write it out. While node list count is greater than zero. So if at any point we go to the next value in the node list and that is uh, null, we're, we're then just gonna remove it from this list. So then we don't have to continue doing null checks for it. So while node list count is greater than zero, we are going to, how are we going to do this? So we've got all the nodes in the list. We need to get each of the current values from them. We need to find the smallest one and add it to sorted. Now we're going to create a dictionary. Our node values equals new dictionary. This is going to be int int. So index is a key and int is a value. So we'll start off with for int i equals zero. Just like that. Node values i equals well, node values is not null here I don't understand what zero is only assignment does it think it can be non-null something oh to double equals there we go so you got all the values in there would then do and smallest index equals negative one actually we'll do a key value here key value pair int int 
we're just going to initialize this as negative one int dot max. Okay, how do I initialize key value pair? Okay, it's like that. Okay, so we've got our key value pair. Although you're looking at this now, don't need to do this at all. We just need to iterate through it and go if smallest index dot value is less than that smallest index equals new key value pair this will be i and mainless value there we go so we now got the current uh, smallest value okay so looking through the old code don't need this anymore don't need this actually we need to go back here We'll initialize sorted as head. We'll rename that to current node, because it makes more sense. And we will so current node dot value equals smallest index dot value. Also need to do that at the top here. So we'll change that to current node dot next. Is that actually what's the order I did it before and here? So go with that, sign like that. Ah oh, yes, that's right. Then at the bottom here, current node, current node dot next. So we get the value from here. We then do node uh, node list i dot node list i equals no node list smallest index dot key equals Oh, next, and then we do if this equals null, we then do where's the list? What's it called? Node list dot remove at smallest index key. You know, what? I want to run this and see if that's all that needs to be done. Okay, got an error. Index out of range must be non negative. Let's see, smallest index. Okay, so that never got overridden. Ah. Got this other way, wrong way around. Node list value must be smaller than this. Now let's rerun it. Okay, that's not the output I was expecting. 260. So that looks like I just did this one. Okay, let's go line by line and see what happened. So node list equals 1. Why is that equal 1? Okay, well, there's something going wrong here then. Let's go back to the top. So we have list. Ah, seems like it's t wrong with how I'm initializing this. Okay, let's go back. So I've got all these here lists for. So I've got lists. For, goes to this one. If it's greater than. It should be J. We don't need that. Okay. Okay, hopefully that was all that was wrong, just how I start, set it up. And. It, okay, so I did some of it. Now we'll do some proper debugging for this. So is the list in here the correct thing now? Okay, one, six, null. That's not how it should be. Or at least that's not what I entered. One, four, five. Okay, well, something definitely went wrong in how I set this up. I thought I set it up correctly, but apparently not. So we've got list. List I would go to here. List J would go into the inner one. Then list K. So we've got previous node. Ah. I forgot to change the thing here. Okay, now hopefully that's all good. So list 1, 4, 5 looks correct. 1, 3, 4 looks correct. 2, 6. Okay. Let's run it all the way through and hopefully that's all good. 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 4, 5, 6. But then it got to 0. Which is not correct. Okay, I just need to make sure that I didn't. Okay, I think I know the problem. Maybe it's when I did the. If I do dot next only when node list dot count is greater than zero, so maybe I'm doing this too late. Let's see. So node list count three, count two, count one. 
Let's go through each line. So now it's count zero. And what is current node? Yeah, current node is six, but it has a next. Okay, current node should dot next should not be done. So current node dot next is being done, and then it's no. We should be doing current node e current node equals new list. Or should we? We'll do if current node equals null, then we'll do new list node. Now let's try that. Okay, just remove that breakpoint and we'll keep running through. Nope, that didn't work. I'm not sure why that would have caused issues. Maybe it should be down here where we do that. Current node dot next equals new list node. And then we do that. No, but the same thing happened again. I'm not sure why though, because current node equals current node dot next. No, that makes sense. So we go here. Currently a head. Head's currently just a brand new list node. We work on it. We give it a value. Then we want to work on the next one. I guess we could just do a check here. If node list dot count equals zero, then just break. Otherwise, current node dot next equals new. And then do that. Okay, now let's run it. Yep, that seemed to be it. And I think that's ready to be ran in leak code. So I'm just going to delete these comments. And we will copy this code and put it into leak code. So just like that. Let's run on the test ones to make sure those are worked. So now let's submit and hopefully it's all good. Okay, well, this is weird. I think we've done it, but <laughs> it's showing this screen. It says it was accepted, but still showing this code screen. Let me just refresh this page and see if... There we go. That solution worked. Uh, this was the 23rd Late Creek Challenge called Merge K Sorted List. If you like this video, make sure to like and subscribe.